Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Las Vegas Live Sessions, where we bring you live Las Vegas talent from right here in the Level Studio right to wherever you are. I'm your host, Remy LBC. And I'm your favorite neighborhood weirdo, Asia Jade. And today we are on another level with Trey Charles, by the way. Yes, I'm super excited. He's in the studio right now getting his levels checked. And mm -hmm. I can't wait for this because he, he's kind of a unique artist. He plays with a talk box, which I think is really cool. Yes. And if you don't know what a talk box is, it's basically a straw and a robot, like, put together, um, essentially. if you Did you watch, uh, what, what was that show, uh, Adventure Time, when Finn mm, yeah. swallows the, the little computer? Uh. And it makes his voice <laughs> sound like yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically, that's who Trey Charles is, but he's doper. Yeah. Like, it's going to be a great show. Awesome. Um, I can't wait. But uh, later in the show, we also have more news coming up about our uh, Vegas music scene, as yes. well as new releases from some of our favorite Las Vegas creatives. So oh, yeah. Definitely stick around for that. But first, I kind of wanted to ask you uh, What's up? about one of these trends that's going on. You know, if you're to like TikTok. I have. Oh, God. I want to know what <laughs> you're... I mean, I feel like since quarantine's happened... <laughs> TikTok's kind of gone uh, to another level. So, oh what are your man. thoughts on TikTok? I am old. Oh my gosh, I cannot keep up with these kids. <laughs> um, I am super huge into social media, though, and I love it uh, mainly because it gives you the freedom to like what we would call biting off of someone's stuff. Yeah. You are able to feed off of that creativity. Right. So they have these things called duets, and yes. like I right. think I've made a total of like four of them um, oh, of duets. How long have you had the TikTok app? Literally two days. <laughs> and I am, and I am obsessed, though. I tried to no, find it. looks it. fun. I just wanted to know what you, you thought. Because you're it. always, you know, big. I don't do a lot of social media. You do that yeah, that's way true. better than I do. So I just wanted to know what you thought. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Uh, you definitely see the weird with the cool. Like, it's just meshed in there. And you never know what you're going to get when you swipe up. Some people are like, I can do this. And then their videos are like, mm, You're like, no, you can't. I don't know about this. But some are like, really funny. But, you know, we're not throwing shade. We're just saying. <laughs> I'm probably going to get a TikTok app. Yeah, you should. Uh, but I'm being told that we're ready for Trey Charles. Oh, yeah. So we're going to run into it right now. Are you ready? I'm, I'm so ready. All right, here you go, guys. Here's Trey Charles. Here we go. What's going on, world? Sure, it's truly Mr. Trey Charles. By the way, the Las Vegas native himself I want to give a big shout out to Levels for having me here tonight. We're going to get into a couple of songs. Right now we're going to get into Wilding. Let's go. Yep, and I'll never grow up. I'm a grown ass kid, I swear I should be locked up for stupid shit that I did And that stupid shit over time, it grew to inspiration Cause I'd be damned if I got caught up in the situation Limiting me to be creative You can keep your what ifs, cause I'ma make it That's why I stay away from cruel shit It put my energy in music to focus on my craft And one day I'll push cool whips I got my drink in my cup, Ooh, I scrolled up Trying to make it through this thing called life they say only live once, live once Bullshit, I feel, I feel like, like I didn't been here twice, twice. I'm wildin', I'm wildin', yeah. 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 I'm wildin', Look, just tryna make it through the day to day Blunt stay lit, feeling like Jordan as I fade away Clearing my mind as I escape the madness that I'm stuck with, but fuck it, so I don't want to live average Looking at couples like, what's the point of your marriage? Is it true love, or do you just manage? The reason so many queens are damaged That's why I practice patience and puff weed Look, it ain't success cause you suck, see? Y'all all keep telling me I ain't shit Passion prevails with patience See, I'm an artist now watch me paint shit, I'm tired of the fakeness Tired of hearing snakes, it's ugly hoes with fake tits In other words, I just hate shit So give me more quality over quantity More pros, cause I'm tired of these niggas counting me And you can save that for the next man Cause I ain't no Sean Connery I got my drink in my cup, blunt rolled up Trying to make it through this thing called life They say you only live once, live once I feel like I didn't be in here twice I'm wild yeah, I'm wild now I was wild I'm wild now I was wild now I was wild now I was wild See, I let my pain leak through this pen Drown my sorrows and jack her hen 
Then tomorrow is back again, stalking my every move. Then trying to alter my mood, turning me to a prosaic dude. It's just that I don't like to lose my cool. These people underestimate the shit that I could do. Not talking violence, just speaking about rhyming. Cause everything that leaks from the pen is diamond. Can't tell me I ain't one of the greats. Cause I'ma do whatever it takes. Whether it's cutting heads off of all of these snakes Or in the lab chopping up breaks Trey Charles gonna be straight So don't ever judge a book by its cover Especially if you're only gonna skim through it This hip hop, I'm the head of my class You dead last, some of you motherfuckers just been through it Yeah, yeah Dang, once live once I feel like I didn't been here twice Wow, damn, yeah, yeah Wow, damn, yeah, yeah Wow, damn, yeah, yeah Wow, damn, yeah, yeah Could be the world's best actor, and that's a fact. By the way, so please don't call me a rapper. I'm more than that. By the way, see it's you saying bolts on a bitch. How I snap on tracks. By the way, turn these thousands to millies invested and watch it stack. By the way, God damn, why'd y'all let me get in beast mode, beast mode? By the way. I'm something like Steve Nash with them free throws, free throws out the way. I make it look easy like I found a cheat code. I heard you don't like me with your all in my grill phone. They never asking if you're good. Never asking if you're good. By the way, I'm doing good. By the way, by the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We ain't that cool, my G. So please relax. Lost friends in bread this year. Just give me my bread back. By the way, no one thing. My music gon' bang like a shotgun blast. Yeah. And if you disrespect T, y'all will Mr. Miyagi that ass. God damn. Don't make me get in beast mode. I'm something like Steve Nash with them free throws. By the way, it's way too easy, like I'm gonna cheat the code. I heard you don't like me with your all in my grill phone. Never asking if you're good. And by the way, I always hate them when they tell me Don't forget me when you make it big <laughs> See, that's the famous lines of an I support to usually friends I often wonder who's my biggest fan Just know you keep me cool Reminiscing on high school Before I was a high fool A band nerd, crazy for haikus Girls pay no interest because I played instruments So fuck walking, you couldn't march a mile in my shoes And I remember niggas this son Throwing shade at me for being a musician Them same ones trying to walk the path that I'm living I ain't hating, just saying it's been my vision Like Nas as it was written Stevie's inner visions About a million references that I could mention See him now and I feel the tension And still fuck y'all, at least I got your attention All right, guys. Wow, it's been an incredible show so far, he right? He is, like, really good with that straw. Like, I'm I just so... I I keep calling it a straw. It's a tube, <laughs> though, right? It's a tube? Uh, yeah, it's it's a tube that connects to a box. It's literally it's, a tube connected to a box. It, to a box. It, so it's not just a clever name. It's uh, cool. <laughs> it's, it's literally a talk box. Yeah, and, and, like, the fluctuation of his... 
like yeah it's like a vocoder so he can like play the notes of you know what he's singing and it gives it kind of that robotic sound so cool and we're gonna hear some more of that because he's still got one more song left mm -hmm. uh, but right now it's time for new music news where we get to talk about new releases from some of our favorite Las Vegas creatives. Oh, yeah. Las Vegas, Vegas Las creatives. Vegas forever. Uh, <laughs> so what do you got for us today? So today I have the Lord of Las Rages himself, the shirt taker offer, Lurk Franklin. Lurk Franklin. Yes, he is so high energy, and I absolutely love him. Every time I go to a show of his, it's like I just, I don't even know who he is. Yeah, and I wild. love it. I, it's <laughs> wild. And he gets like the most uh, like introverted person out. Like, it's great. And he just came out with a single called Turf and Surf, which is out now on Apple Music and on Spotify. And if you want to follow him, you can follow him at the links down here below. Um, he is a phenomenal artist. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I love him. Yeah. I, I really do. I love you, Lurk. You're Turtle Team Forever. Hashtag Turtle Team. <laughs> Hashtag Turtle Team. <laughs> forever uh okay so what i have today is almost normal they're one of my favorite las vegas duos okay uh they just released a brand new music video called home and i've seen the trailer for it i haven't seen the whole thing yet but it looks really dope dope um dalton campbell actually worked on the project <laughs> love that guy yeah and you know as you know he's worked on some of our stuff uh with leather brown crooks absolutely and he's just an amazing creative and i you know i can't wait to check out the whole thing so definitely check it out Follow these guys right here. I'm sure there are links in the bio uh, for their new music video, Home. But right now, it's time to get back to Trey Charles. I am so ready. So you don't <laughs> even know. <laughs> and stick around for an interview after this last song with Trey Charles. But right now, he's doing a Las Vegas live session. Exclusive. Exclusive premiere of his new single, Wanna Know. Yes. Here he is. Trey Charles, by the way. Once again, it's yours truly, Mr. Trey Charles, by the way. This is my final song. Thank you one more time to Levels. And also, the song is available on all streaming platforms. So let's get it. I just want to know, I just want to know, can I take you home tonight, and she just want to know, she just want to know, can I take her home tonight, want you for the night probably do some shit to you i know your man wants like it's this blunt let's get higher than the stars at night sip this in we can do anything that you like so can i take you home girl just trying to make your toes curl know that freaky shit it ain't new to you Grinding on me like I'm crashing up my favorite snug cup We're about to make love all through this club So put that thing on me I swear you're making me horny Somebody say, somebody say, somebody say yeah. Somebody say, somebody say, somebody say yeah. Just want to freak you, baby. Just want to freak you, baby. Just want to freak you, baby. So can I take you home? I just want to know. I just want to know. Wanna know? Can I? Can I take you home? Can I 
Sometimes you just gotta let the beat breathe, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna get back to it right now. See, I just want you for the night. Probably do some shit to you. I know your man looks like. It's this blunt, let's get higher than the stars at night. Sip this in, we can do anything that you like. So can I take you home, girl? I'm just trying to make your toes curl. I know that freaky shit it ain't new to you. I'm grinding on me like I'm crushing up my favorite snug. We're about to make love all through this club. So put that thing on me. I swear you're making me horny. Somebody say, somebody say, somebody say, yeah. Somebody say, somebody say, somebody say, yeah. Just want to freak you, baby. Just want to freak you, baby. Just want to freak you, baby. Can I take you home? I just want to know. I just wanna know. I just wanna know. Can I? I can I take you home? She just wanna know. She just wanna know. Mm -hmm. Can I take you home? Thank you, Levels. Trey Charles, by the way. All right, everybody, welcome back. We have Trey Charles in the studio with us. Woo! Man, what an amazing performance. Really enjoyed having Much you today. Much appreciated, man. Thank you for yes. having me. What you can do with what some might call a straw is amazing. <laughs> a straw. <laughs> <laughs> no, the talk box is excellent, man. It's such a cool vibe. How'd you get into that? Uh, honestly, it was years ago. Um, a guy that Roger Troutman ended up mentoring actually mentored me, and that's pretty much how I got started within the talk box long story short okay yeah. that's really pretty cool. tight what's the long story no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> well the long the long story is uh you know i used to do studio work like back in like 2004 ish sometime around there 2004 to like 2006 i used to do uh like behind the scenes studio work so this is like high school you know, i'm yeah, assuming so okay it's like high school so i was like in sessions with like, you know, I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with My Sean, but My Sean was like a popping up, up and coming artist, you know, mm. young kid. And he was like doing songs with like Chris Brown, or they would like send songs back and forth to each other to like reference and stuff like that. Okay. So I was doing like stuff like that. And that's pretty much what introduced me within to, you know, getting into the talk boxes, having a conversation with the, the guy that got me into it and him just saying, hey, you should do this and, it's a really you know. cool element really like it you know I mean I've seen you perform before but I just always enjoy it uh, but I want to talk about uh, this Doritos thing you did it at Doritos <laughs> what was it called it's called a blaze the, blaze beat, the beat challenge in 2008 yes, 18 uh, 2018 so. how um, how was that process and how long did it take you to actually write the song that you submitted hmm, well the process was pretty crazy like just the way I write in general, I start with my cadences. So I get the cadence or like my melodies down first and then the words will start to fall into place. And it took me probably like a day or two to complete everything and say, all right, this is exactly what I want to do and finalize it like a day or two. Where can people find that beat right now? That beat, um, it was made from a producer named Terrence Martin and Buster Rhymes. They but I mean your version. My version? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be on uh, YouTube. You can go to my YouTube channel, Trey Charles BTW. It's my nice. YouTube handle. Check that out. It's my social media handle in general. So if you ever want to find me, my music, Trey Charles BTW. By and also, the way. I'm I'm also on everywhere else. It's Trey Charles. So 
not to clear have you know just to clear up any confusion and mm. stuff like that. And the way you spell your name is unique. Uh, T R A Y. Yes. Charles. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Any reason why Trey? Uh, well, my government name is Trey Beyon, so I just okay. took the first the first three letters of my name. Ray Charles is an influence, so okay. it's my stoner name. Ray uh, Trey it's Charles. It's like rolling Trey oh, Charles. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, speaking of munchies, what is your favorite Dorito uh, flavor? Guacamole. Mm, I don't think I've had that one. Really? Is it the oh, spicy man. guacamole? No, nah, it's one? like it's like discontinued, I man. It was like Oh, that's probably what happened. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. It was just like flavor. Guacamole. They got those ones that are kind of like it. I forget who makes them, but they're uh, still out. They also make like the Sausalito ones. Oh, the little round chips? Yeah, yeah but yeah. they have an avocado one. That mm -hmm. one's pretty that good. That one's pretty It's okay. Fire. It's it's like, it, it gets the job done. But <laughs> it's not the it's Doritos. It's not the Doritos. But, you know, <laughs> Doritos is pretty hard to get. The Blaze is like one of my favorites as well. Like if you love spicy food, like that's definitely one to try. Have you guys okay. heard of that like world's hottest chip and it's like oh yeah chip. i'm a pass on that yeah it's like I'm not it, trying it, to it, die. it's one chip and it comes in a tray and people were doing in a tray <laughs> and people were doing uh in a, in a these, tray. <laughs> these challenges where they would you know get it and and try to eat it on camera and it was like so hot that people would just start crying, yeah, crying. and throwing up is it like a full like it's tortilla one chip? it's, it's one like chip. Like it looks like a dorito chip. but it's a little bit bigger oh my god one single chip why do you torture yourselves <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you people so um, I just wanted to know, um, out of all the beats that you have done, uh, which one are you the most proud of? Hmm. Like current or all, or like all around all, all time. Well, you've been doing this since uh, 2004, so I'm assuming there's a yeah. lot under your belt. And yeah. I know it's hard for an artist to choose between their children, <laughs> but oh, if you could, like, um, notable, I guess, most uh, notable. I'm gonna go with a song I did called "Good Day." Okay, like, I think that's my favorite one. It's like has like a gospel type of feel to it. Like it just gets you up. It makes you happy. Like that's that's the the best way I can explain it. And I feel like you know, in some senses, music in general not not the lyrics, but the music alone when it speaks to you, you know, it's it's on a different level. It's on a different frequency. And that's what I try to do a lot of the times with my production is you know, allow you to feel the music versus just hear it, you know? And yeah. I think that's what Good Day, that's what Good Day does for me. Actually, I'm gonna jump in right here because I got a question about that. So, um, the question is, do you produce all your own beats? Yes. And I know the answer yes. is yes, but uh, how long have you been focusing on producing beats as opposed to um, the latter? Being an artist. Like, um, well, like, I've been making beats since like, who knows when? If anybody's familiar with Fruity Loops, like when it was like, oh yeah, yeah. I remember Fruity Loops. They used to get that on a disc. Yeah, when it was everyone like, got it on a disc. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been like <laughs> dabbling or... around with it when it was like Fruity Pro. Okay, Ooh, so okay. nice. Yeah, that's, man. That's man, awesome. you, that was a throwback. Ooh. Fruity Loops, man. If you are a real audio engineer. <laughs> You know the loops. Yeah. Like, Classic bro. Man, and how <laughs> how long it took to render anything. Oh man. Like I used to hate that. you did like two things and you're like, Well, I guess I'm here for an yeah. hour. Especially <laughs> if you had dial up or DSL oh, or something God. like that. <laughs> Which we all did. Yeah. <laughs> Back <Forever. then. laughs> man, I don't miss dial up. <laughs> I miss at pretty loops. I'm so happy we have fiber optics. It is <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so I wanted to jump into um, your performance today. So mm -hmm. it's you're you're you've switched over from being a DJ to an artist. Yes. Um, very recently, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. um, but what would be either or your favorite performance? Um, you've worked with some notable mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Uh, here, especially here in Vegas. Yes. Um, who, who would you think, or what's your favorite performance? Let's just um, say that. I feel like any time I link with my brother, JRB Box, like you just put on an undeniable performance. Whether it's me being on a turntable aspect as a, as a DJ, or, you know, being in the front, forefront as a lyricist, talk boxer, artist, whatever you, umbrella you want to throw me under. Mm -hmm. Like, either one, it's just like, it's always comfortable, it's always genuine and organic. So, anything with the JR. 
I'm gonna just put it there, yeah. Yeah, he's nice. definitely a downtown staple, mm -hmm. for sure. Nice, J-Hot yeah. Beatbox, uh, done a lot of shows with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, the flow that he gives, the, the freedom, should yeah. I say, that he gives people that collab with him is, uh, it's phenomenal. Like, he's just, he's just an A-class artist. Yeah, and like, the, the number one reason why I love to work with him, is, like, like you said, like, he gives you enough space to just do you, mm -hmm. do what you need to do as an artist. And like even with himself, like he, man, the dude's a beast. Like, he did a Pepsi commercial. Yeah. Like, do you? Do you yeah. Yes, he did a Pepsi commercial. No, I didn't know that. Um, first one out of DTP or downtown Las Vegas. He's not centered in downtown, but he flourished here. And like, I remember I was watching TV and like I lost it. I was like, what? <laughs> 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 That's crazy. Yeah, it's it's bananas how far. By allowing yourself to allow other people to be creatively mm -hmm. free, you allow yourself to be as Definitely. well. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. And the fact that you're able to bounce back and forth with that doing with him is cool, which actually I want to ask about that. Um, transitioning from a DJ to a producer, you know, it uh, doesn't sound like a huge step for you, yeah. but uh, what do you like more, DJing or producing? It depends on the environment that I'm in. Like, when it comes to the DJ world, I just love to have the freedom to play whatever. Like, my my main dislike about DJing was, you know, being limited to, okay, this is only going to be a hip-hop show or this is going to be, you know, an indie show or whatever. I just like to play what feels right. I like to read the crowd. Like, that was the number one thing that I learned becoming a DJ was to read your crowd. Yeah. And, and from there, you know, you pretty much... Like once you once you get your your crowd under control, you have the night under control. Yeah. You know, and so if you had to pick one between DJing Ugh. or producing, which one would you choose? Don't make him choose between his children. Man, that's <laughs> tough. We're gonna make him. That's tough. I would say producing. Okay. Only only for the the fact that I can create something. I can create my own from the ground up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know beat wise composition wise and then take that and go dj right. <laughs> play your own music yeah. Yeah. so i have a, a kind of off topic it's not on our cards but um why do you think djs don't play their own music i think some are afraid really some are afraid hmm. of the crowd like a lot of the times like when you're djing you know an event or a party it's it's not for you as the dj you're there for the people okay especially if it comes to a wedding like you're oh, there. Yeah. You're there for the bride. I don't right. care what nobody else says. Yeah, it's no one else's wedding. Grew, you can ask for it. Some was like, no, nah, if the bride didn't ask for it, it doesn't fly over here. Interesting. <laughs> okay. I've always wondered that because I know a lot of DJs, and as do you, and I'm sure yourself mm -hmm. as well, and minus the strip um, here in Las Vegas, but like just any event, I don't usually hear their stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like bands play their own music. Mm -hmm. I, you know. I feel that like it's kind of like how I'm uh, have been hesitant on bringing up my band on the show. It's because yes. it's like you know it's about everyone else. You gotta not, put it out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's about everyone else, but at the same time, it's, it's like, also about you. It's about me as well. Hey, yeah. like not to throw it out there. Shameless plug. <laughs> yeah. Check out my band. You know. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I crave it. I crave I've for the it. day like where um, someone will do like a really awesome mix to a popular song that they did, mm -hmm. and then just somehow segue their music in there, yeah. and I'm like, wait, I've never heard this. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I've never heard this. That's what I think. That's what a lot of DJs should be doing. But like I, I said, a lot of them are just afraid of their own you know, success. That could be it. Yeah, possibly. That could be it. But but then again, I know like a lot of DJs don't break records anymore. You know, it could mm -hmm. be a brand new song. It could be the hottest song on the streets, but in certain situations, you're not going to play it because it's like, well, this is kind of a corporate event. I don't know if it's, this is the, the right environment to play this type of song. You have to read your crowd. You know, so Absolutely. yeah. And take risk. And mm -hmm. take risks. Sometimes you do. Yeah, but a lot of DJs don't have integrity these days. I'm going to keep it real. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you no heard it here uh, first, Ray Charles, by but, the way. Um, <clears throat> that was shade. Hashtag yeah. keeping it real. <laughs> so we're going to play a little game. Okay. Uh, this is for all three of us. Okay. We usually like to do this with our solos. Um, this game is called Wrong Answers okay. Only. Mm. So a lot of people have been posting this on their Instagram stories. I want to do it here. So if you were not doing music, what would you be doing Wrong Answers Only? Um, probably be like a 
a flavor specialist at Baskin and Robbins or something. <laughs> Did you say Carol Baskins? I mean, Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Baskin. <laughs> Don't ever say that name in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh um, lord you know what it's a thing so a we thing. have to accept it yeah. <laughs> we have to accept Damn, it Carol, what about you remy i don't know how do you play the game what do you got what i'm so wrong saying? answers okay. only like so i just got to make a something up yeah basically okay what was the question um if you weren't doing music what would you be doing um i would probably be like a, a longshore fisherman you know that's, I mean? For some reason, I think that's realistic. For you know, you. like <laughs> just tossing fish off the boat. Man. Just, just ah, <laughs> my shirt it. off, okay. hamburger meat hanging out. Ooh, you know, yeah, glistening in the little, sun. Ladies, little yellow boots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you then? I would probably be a duck hoarder. Like mm. I would have just a fleet <laughs> of ducks following me around my like oak wood floor house, and you just hear like. Affleck. Like, like, just Affleck <laughs> popping around. Have you guys seen, side note, have you guys seen this video of a duck maniacally laughing? No. It is one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. And this duck is, like, looking dead at the camera and just laughing. But, like, in a very <laughs> maniacal undertone. <laughs> 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 All right, so I got uh, one last one for you for right. me, and then I think Asia's going to jump in on one more. But who was your favorite artist growing up? Mm. Ooh, that's a tough one. Can I name a few? Yeah, Absolutely. Because, like, I have, like, a, a... Don't pick between your children. A couple, you know, <laughs> different genres, um, like, growing up. So you have, like, George Clinton, Funkadelics. Oh. You have Roger Troutman, you know, Zepp and Roger. You have the Neptunes, mm. N.E.R.D. You got the Tribe Called Quest. Mm. Mm -hmm. You got In Sync. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah. Boy. Yes. I'm gonna keep it real. You know, um, I'm gonna boy just bands there. Boy bands, hey, some fire boy bands out there. They LFO. killed the, the late '90s. For oh real. no, no doubt. Yeah. They really and did. Only, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Timberlake Another was the one. only one that kind of made it out of that, huh? Uh, J.C. Chazé did a little bit mm -hmm. of producing during that time um, in the early 2000s. But, yeah. Timberlake's killing the Tim game. Well, I mean, he, he married Jessica Biel. Yeah. Like, like, he won. Yeah. He won. He won. Timberlake's he won. always been. Save some for us, bro. Yeah, man. no, he won't. Man, he doing, <laughs> <laughs> that man's been doing this since, like, the Mickey Mouse Club days. He was yeah. destined to be great. Him, who, who else? Christina Lance Bass, Aguilera. Uh, Christina Aguilera. Britney Spears, I believe. Britney Spears, mm, J.C. Chazé. Um, there was a comedian, too, that was in the Mickey Mouse Club as well. Um, that was featured on all the ads. Miley Cyrus, wasn't she like part of that? Uh, yeah. Mickey, Mouse, thing? Mickey Mouse? No, she was Hannah Montana. Right. Hannah yeah. Montana. Hannah Montana. <laughs> Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. <laughs> she went sideways, like definitely. But you know what? She brought it back. She brought it back <laughs> nah. a little bit. She grew sure. her hair back. She grew her hair back. Sure. That's all I'm saying. She she's, brought her hair back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is my last question. Okay. So if you could... Perform anywhere, hmm. like um, I mean, no budget. Like there's, it, you're just literally there. Where would you be? Probably say Coachella. Coachella. Uh, Coachella. Why is that? Really. That stage, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's good. It's good. That stage, like you can do so much. And you, like you said, if there's no budget, oh, you better believe my stage props are gonna be top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Top notch. Light show is gonna be crazy. Like. Would you have yeah. like dancers or would you have like more so like more interactive things like tech tech and stuff? Probably have like, you know, <laughs> some holograms or some Tupac Biggie. We were just yeah. talking we about were literally, that. Literally <laughs> in the last episode. So in our last episode <laughs> you know? we were talking with the sober junkie. Some about, people don't like uh, some people don't like holograms. I know, yeah. yeah. They really don't. I know. I think it would be dope. Tupac and Biggie, like as on the long, same stage together? If they, if they, Only if they utilized it for, like, the benefit of others. So yeah. say that that hologram was raising money for, I don't know, children with cancer. Mm -hmm. That would be tight. Be cool, but man. if they're just taking that and, like, and running, just like, yeah, using making their profit on yeah, their own. Yeah, that's kind of cool. that's kind of why. Yeah, they're dead, you know? Like, like, yeah, like, at, least, at least give the, the profits to the family. Like, I understand right. it's a business. I do, too. You got to make money. 
But yeah. give those know. proceeds to the family give it to or the family. one of these organizations that you know these put it on Shug's supported. books. You know, oh, <laughs> <throwing> <laughs> put it on Shug's books. I'm just books. saying, you probably need. To... I mean, Shug. Yes. Oh, side note: Did you guys know about Tupac um, when he passed away? Right before he passed away, this just came out in a journal. Um, that I forgot the link to, uh, but we'll try to find it. And put we'll, it. Tr- we'll try to find it, but it is um, his last words. Hmm. And oh, I did hear about this. You heard about this? Yeah, it was like F, F you. you to F the cop. F you to the cop. So the <laughs> cop comes over and he pulls him out of the car. He said, "Tupac, Tupac, who shot you? Who shot you?" And Tupac looks up at him and he's like, "F you." And like the cop is like, "What?" And he goes, "F you." And that was his last That's dying crazy. breath. That is that like even in the brink of death he was like I ain't helping you FTP Ooh. like yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can say it fuck the police fuck the police we can say it it's our show it's ours it's ours well hey guys um we definitely appreciate you coming in Trey, today no phenomenal talent no like seriously. Ray Charles Anytime. by the way. Follow him at Trey Charles BTW on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And we got to remind you guys to check out his newest single that's out now. It's right here. It's called Wanna Know. Yes. And then he also has an EP out, which is titled Featuring You. You. And it's there. like a beat tape uh, with hooks. So mm-hmm. definitely check that out. And thank you so much for coming in today. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. It was a great performance, man. Love it. Check out Trey Charles. Yep. And right now, we're going to give you our one last word. Coming up right now. So what a show we had today, huh? Oh my gosh, he's he's a phenomenal creative just on the simple fact that it's originality. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm really happy that he came on. He's a humble dude. He really is. And he was one that I was really looking forward to because I've seen him perform before, especially with the talk box. And, yes. You know, how he does the vocoder with the keys. I mean, it's just... It's cool to watch. And he performed at the first Friday event uh, when Damage Savage was playing and you were hosting. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah he did the Serap. Uh, oh, that was super cool. So it was. So what happened was, uh, you know, it was a mixed uh, genre night. We had a bunch of oh, different artists there. Back, and sure. uh, Damage Savage was... Uh, Damage Savage was on, and uh, they, they were doing like a sound check or something, and then like tr- like Kurt something uh, cut out. Yeah, something cut out, and Kurt just started playing the drums, and then the mic was the only thing on, yeah. and like Trey just jumped up there, started freestyling, and started freestyling. Actually, I think we have a clip. We do have a clip. Let's, let's, show, let's, let's, let's show This the is clip. pretty tight. <laughs> People so salty, they wish that I died. All because they know the nigga fly. Holy cow. <laughs> like, the, like what it. a night, dude. That it. was such a great night. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I want to go back to that night. I mean, I miss just being out and about and <laughs> I miss things people. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I miss people. Yeah. But, you know, uh, this is the point in the show. You know, it's our one last segment. You know, we're getting towards the end of the episode. And uh, this is where we do one last thing, where we just talk about one last plug or something we want to shout out. Yes. Of what's going on in the community. There's not a lot going on right now because everyone's stuck at home in quarantine, but there is something I did want to talk about, and we've talked about it on the show before, and that's the digital market in the alley. Mm-hmm. They're still doing this. Um, if you're from downtown or the Vegas area and you've been down there on the weekends, yes. market in the alley is always super dope. There's art, you know, home goods, um, you know, decor, soaps, soaps candles. all kinds of cool stuff. So you can yep. still get all of that online every Saturday and Sunday. Uh, on Saturday, it's from 6 to 10, and on Sunday, it's from 12 to the 12 to 4 for the digital market in the alley. So please check that out, guys. Um, that's local money going back to our community. Yes. And, uh, I think it's for every $100, it's 68 stays in our community. Yep. And that's on the so big rad. box stores, it's only like 13% that goes back to our community. So when you shop local like that, it makes a huge difference. And we're going to be in such a deficit when we roll out of this that, you know, we're going to need it. So yep. shop locally. Help start out. Start now. Start, start now. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Asia? Well, what I have is um, Desert Plaza Senior, senior Apartments. So our 
elderly community has obviously been hit very hard with this, um, specifically for the fact that they cannot go outside. Yeah. Um, they are more susceptible to catching COVID, and we, you know, want to help them. They can't really go shopping as often. So Desert Plaza Senior Apartments, they are looking for canned goods and non-perishables and water. If you are interested in donating to our senior community, go ahead and contact Erica. The information is down here on the bottom. And uh, help out your senior citizens, man. And as always, stay rad, stay home, and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next level. level.